I came out to this wetland today along this boardwalk to see if I could find winterberry. It's late September and winterberry is at its finest this time of year because its bright red berries are spectacular. It is a native holly and unlike some hollies that you might be familiar with, the leaves don't have those deep spiky lobes that we think of on American holly or some of the variegated holly that we might see at winter holidays. Instead, there are very fine teeth along the edge. And interestingly, winterberry loses its leaves in winter, unlike some other hollies like American holly. It does drop those leaves along about November, sometimes though as early as early October. On the other side of the trail here, there's a winterberry that has started to drop its leaves already. It doesn't have quite as many leaves on the branches. These wonderful red berries are a great food source for migrating birds. Birds are winging their way south this time of year and they need to stop in places where they can fuel up on high energy foods. And winter berries are packed with nutrients and fat and juices. The little seeds inside are uh, full of energy. So they're little bundles of high energy food sources for migrating birds. Eventually, when the shrub is totally devoid of leaves, just these bright red berries are left into November, oftentimes in our area of the Great Lakes region. But birds like robins and cedar waxwings and eastern bluebirds that spend the winter with us will often come to wetlands like the one I'm in right now and devour these winter berries. If you want to introduce winterberry into your native landscaping in your yard, it's a great wildlife food. Keep in mind that they are dioecious, which means a male plant and a female plant are required to get berries and only the female plant will produce these scarlet gems. Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements if you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.